Hey, thanks for being a part of the conversation. This is Forest Stories. I am the poet in the forest, a children's series that I pinned out in the 1990s. Now, none of it would be possible if it wasn't for this forest right here in South Charlotte, North Carolina. I talk about it so much that I thought maybe it's time that you get to know what has inspired me for 30 years. Thanks for being a part of the conversation. Welcome back to the forest. Strange day today inside the forest. As I looked up, I took note of the tree being sick. Not just one, but many. And it seems like throughout this forest, there's a lot of trees that are quite sick. It's not acid rain like I assumed back in the 1990s. There's just something changing inside the soil as well as the trees. For me, I go and I sit beside the tree. I don't talk. I just listen. I listen to find out if the trunk is squeaking on the inside. I look up at the leaves. If I'm lucky, they're there. But when you have a sick tree, you don't know what's really going to be up there. And today's just one of those days where I've got two sick trees. And part of that relationship with the tree is, is that I have to ask it, can I help free you from the soil? Can I help bring what you have back into the soil in a different way? A transition of energy for future trees. I've sat in the house a very long time today because spiritually it hurts me deeply to know that I'm going to go cut down two trees. Two trees that have been with me for 15, 20 years. But they don't look good. They look very unhealthy. And the way that they're basically losing all of their branches is also very unhealthy for us down below. Because during these southern wind storms, there's a lot of damage that's done. So when a tree is sick, especially one in this forest, you just don't go out there and cut it. It's a spiritual walk. It's asking that question, can I free you from the soil and give you back in a different form of energy? And both trees, they didn't argue. They served their time. They provided the shade and protection from the cold winters we had. Asking a tree if it's okay to set them free. Hey, thanks for being a part of the conversation.